One of the great things about Photoshop is the amount of control that it gives us over our images. We're going to take a look at the channels panel in this next video, and you're going to see how Photoshop breaks up our image into several grayscale color layers. All right, so let's take a look at the channels panel. Now, as you can see, I have kind of a funky colored picture to start here, and I was messing around a little bit between the different image modes, but let's come over here to the channels panel. And one of the fantastic things about these channels is no matter what image mode you're in, you're going to be presented with a couple of different channels. And as you can see, we're in RGB color mode right now. So we have the, at the top, we have the total RGB color. Then we have red, then we have green, then we have blue individually. Um, for the curious minded, the way that I got this was I switched from LAB color to multi-channel. And then I changed each one of these, uh, which this would have been luminosity. And then this one would have been A and this one would have been B. I changed them to spot color, red, green, and blue. And then I changed it to an RGB color image and got this. So the channels panel is extremely powerful and you can get some crazy results. With a little bit of experimentation, you can get some really interesting, exciting things going on here. And I'm gonna cover a lot of this in my next tutorial series about band promotion. But for now, let's get back to the channels panel really quick. One of the great things about this is each one of these channels, you can operate with them individually. Each one of these channels you can treat as though it's a layer. As you can see here, I brought up a levels adjustment and we can play with the levels on this channel and it'll give us the same exact results as though it were a layer. The cool thing about this is if you look down at the RGB composite layer, it'll give you a little preview of what the final output is going to look like once we enable all of the different color channels. So I'm just gonna hit okay here. And again, we're going to get a real crazy image because I've been really messing with these colors. The point of this is that at any time you can change these channel layers around, swap them out for other layers even, and get some really exciting things. I'm going to do one thing for you here real quick where what we're going to do is we're going to shut off the red layer and now we've got the green and blue layers. So if you switch back to the layers panel, this is now the composite of just the green and blue layer. Here I'm going to bring up curves. I'm going to change the composition of this just a little bit. I'm going to crush the high and low tones. And then I'm going to invert the middle tones. Kind of see how that looks. All right. I'm going to hit OK. Control A for select all. Control C for copy. And then I'm gonna do something else and I'm gonna hit undo. I'll go back into channels and create a new channel layer, which for right now is alpha one. But now I'm gonna hit control V or command V if you're on Mac and hit paste. So now you can see we have four layers. And this layer here, alpha one, we can do a couple of different things. First thing I'm gonna do is double click the layer. And now you can see color indicates masked areas, selected areas, or spot color. For the purpose of this quick overview, I'm just gonna click on spot color and I'm gonna change this to blue. So we'll come down here into the RGB, hit zero, zero, and then 255, because this represents blue. Hit okay, and rename this blue. Hit okay. Now I'm gonna delete the blue layer, and as you can see, it's changed it over to cyan, magenta, and blue, but I'm gonna come back up here to image mode which you can see now it automatically switched it to multi-channel because we started playing with the channels and highlight rgb color to change it back to an rgb image now you can see it's really crazy i have no idea what's going on here but the point is with a little bit of experimentation you can get used to what's going on and you can control what's going on and create some really interesting effects whether they be background effects or if you're creating a four color poster the channels panel really versatile, really powerful once you get the hang of it. Now we're going to go over using channels to your advantage in one of the advanced courses that's to come. Well, that's all for the channels panel. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. And remember to send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.